Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with the Express and Star reporter Matt May. And Matt, we're talking Warsaw and what a fantastic win against all odds. So then desperate to play this game. I think they should have just called it off. Well, that's what uh, an esteemed <laughs> colleague of ours thought yes, on Friday. Yes, I mean, yes, he I'll did. Bet, bet, you know, mm. Warsaw are glad now that he they, they didn't. I wouldn't say it was against all odds. Okay. Uh, you know, they, they do play in the same division. <laughs> but yeah, a really good win that we probably weren't expecting because Southend were one of the form teams in the division mm. and really picked up since Chris Powell went in. And, you know, Warsaw have gone there and, and got a, a big win and, you know, kind of... Uh, and this team are the first player to score a hat trick for the Saddlers in yeah. more than four years. The first since Fabian Brandy, and really just sums up, you know, was Tuma mm. and and the player he has been for Walsall over the last two seasons. Yes, yeah. uh, I think it was picked up even on the, the national mm. uh, highlight mm -hmm. show on, mm -hmm. on Channel Five. You know, they actually talked about Walsall this week, and really nice, they didn't yeah. have many games to talk about no. across the the three divisions. But you know, the the, the impact Oz Tuma has had. You know he is such a huge player for Warsaw, and he and he's proved it there on, on Saturday with, mm. you know, with with three goals. Any chance of keeping him or, or zero? Do you think? Well, I think that's the big question now, isn't it? Um, you know, he's, but it's tough, and we've been in this situation so many times with with, with Warsaw. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw somebody say on, on, on Saturday that you know the, the club could offer him you know record club record wages, and and somebody else higher up the division would probably offer more. Yeah. and that's the big problem. Um, I guess it's just kind of wait and see. You know, I think there's a, you know, the one thing, you know, John, John Whitney's been criticised um, by fans, you know, quite heavily this season. But the one thing John can always turn around and say is mm. that, that he signed Oz Toomer and, and he's one of the, the, the best players that, you know, Walsall have had, mm. you know, over the last decade. Um, it's just a shame that he arrived as the team, Dean Smith's kind of team, the team that yeah. kind of you know got within a, a whisker of promotion was, was was breaking up. It would have been good to see him, you know, had he been part of that, you know, that team. Mm. Yeah, it's wife history, isn't it? But but certainly the last two seasons, he, he's been a huge player for Warsaw and, and and a big reason why they are still in League One. And now tomorrow night face Rochdale with a chance to effectively, you know, you know, as good as secure safety yeah. with. With, with ten games to go, and look, I mean, over the last few games, they're, they're on a pretty decent run, run, of, run of form. Yeah, this is uh, perhaps you know their best run of form this season. I think the performance has been a bit more consistent. Yeah, they lost to Blackburn, which everyone was expecting, of but they did well in the second half. Lost at Peterborough mm. under tricky, you yeah. know, in, in tricky conditions. But they, they are they're becoming a bit more solid at the back. You know, there's a, they're, they're finding something. They've they found something when they, when they desperately need mm. it. We've seen this so many times during John's reign. That when the chips are down and you think, <laughs> yeah, you know, this is going to be, this, it. You know, he, he's he's up against it. They they get a result, they they find it, and they go on a bit of a run. The issue's been that they can't continue these runs, and and, and you know they rushed out tomorrow night. Mm. You know, you and me both big fans of American mm -hmm. sports. Mm -hmm. This is what they'd call a trap game. Yeah, you know, Rochdale, bottom of the division, twelve points from safety, but. You know, they've got four or five games in hand on most of the teams above them. Mm. They've just taken Tottenham to a replay in the FA Cup. Yeah. So it ain't going to be easy. But, you know, Warsaw really, this is a game they've got to look to, to win. You know, and, and they'd go on to, I think, 47 points. You know, you'd be, mm. you know, 10 points clear of the drop zone. And, and you're almost there. You know, you're probably a couple of wins away from, from securing safety, which, you know, I know that's putting a negative on it. If they win tomorrow night, it's the only game on to go within six points of the top six. I know. I Admittedly, know. having to play games more, a game yeah. more than those teams above. I know we're looking at the negative. But from where they were a few weeks ago, the priority was get away from the drop zone. They've done that. They've got a chance to really take another firm step tomorrow night. And, you know, look, I, I don't think that, you know, they've got enough to, to push for much further up the table. But I think, you know, the, it could be an interesting end to the season. You just never know. You never know. Three points, fingers crossed, tomorrow night. For all the build-up on this one, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.